Hello everyone, I'm Cody. And I'm Chantal. And welcome to Unit 3, Detained for Nothing. And so this situation is a little bit of a sad story. Uh, it's, you know, really unfortunate for the man uh, who goes by the name of Joshua Spritzerbach. Now, I hope I'm saying his name correctly. But on May 11th of 2017, I mean, his day just went from bad to worse uh, in, in a horribly, horribly bad way. Um, and he, well, he was a homeless man who fell asleep uh, outside of a food bank, uh, roughly around the sidewalk area. And he didn't intend to fall asleep. But uh, when he woke up, unfortunately, cops were at that point detaining him and trying to arrest him. Um, now, you might be wondering why are they trying to arrest him? Unfortunately, in, in Honolulu, Hawaii, where he, this situation happened, uh, it's illegal to you know, stay or sleep outside on the sidewalk. And so he, he was apologizing for that. But that's not why he was arrested. The cops thought that he resembled or was the man who was wanted for some other crime, some other situation. Wanted. Wanted. You know, unfortunately, he grew more agitated when the cop made zero effort to confirm his identity, even though Joshua was telling him his name, his social security number. That's all information the cop should check to verify identity. And they did not verify. They just thought this man was another man by the name of Thomas, Thomas Castleberry. Agitated. Agitated. Social security number. Social security number. And they took him away to prison, but he became much more agitated. Uh, and they thought he had some you know, psychiatric issues, mm -hmm. some psychological things. And so they took him to a you know, psychiatry ward, uh, to the hospital to be checked. Mm -hmm. And well, there's a lot more to the story we'll get to in a minute. But I want to ask you, do you know anyone who was or is arrested or ever faced that kind of situation? Fortunately, no, I okay. don't. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, no, I I don't have any friends or family members that have had mm -hmm. you know have been in this situation. Yeah. What about you? None that I could immediately recall. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, plenty of family members gotten tickets. Yes, <laughs> but tickets. Never yes. arrested necessarily no. for anything right. uh, nefarious or bad or illegal. Especially, you know, not for something so trivial or so ridiculous. Falling asleep on the sidewalk. Yeah, or to, to take the matters of resembling somebody <sighs> wanted but not verifying identity. Now that that is unacceptable. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, especially in such a well ideal place that people that people want to go to, Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, uh, have you ever been to Hawaii? Never. Never. No, not yet. <laughs> I would love to go one day, but not yet. Yeah. Just make sure not to fall asleep on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. What yeah. about you? I've never been. Maybe in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. So no, I'd love to go one day. It looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily Honolulu, but the smaller islands, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'd love to go. I yeah. see. And now the language focus. First up, the next thing one knew. For my example, one day I was running through the forest, trail running, and the next thing I knew, I saw a boar running through the trees. Okay, next up is in vain. For example, I tried in vain to spend less money last month. All right, that's it for our preview section. We'll see you on the review.